Right, so now we've altered your template, so it's got your colors and your branding on it and all your images and everything. The next step we need to do is we need to link up your contact form and we need to link up your newsletter. It's very important because right now they are currently floating into cyberspace because you've not actually specified where you want things to go. So we're going to go back into your visual builder, scroll down to it, and you'll notice how these canvases here, these sections are dark blue. However, when you go to newsletter and contact form, they're bright green. So the reason for that is these are global canvases. So what that means is if you edit this here, that change will be pulled through onto all your newsletter sections and all your contact form sections. So for example, your contact form under contact is the same section here. So once you edit this, it will update it here. The same with your newsletter. So what we're going to do is hover over your contact form and press your settings button. You need to scroll down to where it says email and you need to write your email address in here because right now it's blank, which means someone fills this in and it goes to nowhere. So you need to populate that and then press the green tick. It will save it. It will do this load because it's making that change on every page. Same with your newsletter. You go to the settings of it and you want to go down to email account. So here you can select whatever provider your newsletter is with. So mine's with MailChimp, so I, I add it here, but there's so many to choose from. So say you're with ConvertKit, you can click that and then it will, you can put whatever fields you want there and stuff. I'm going to go with MailChimp. So I go add, I add my account name, I add my API key and I press submit. After I do that, it will let me select from a bunch of lists that I have on my MailChimp. So I've not actually connected this yet, which is why it's not giving me a list. But once you click that, press add, it will refresh and it means everyone who subscribes will be subscribed to that list. So you need to remember to do that. Otherwise, again, it will just, your emails will flow into cyberspace and you will lose all of those amazing contacts. So I'm just going to exit this and save it and that will all be updated.